good evening. Welcome to Inside the News. Tonight, we shall be visiting Majesty Honey Farm at Azenu in an orchard council area to witness first-hand modern trend in making original honey. Please join us for details coming right after the hard news. I am Maureen Stone Enujoke. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Was the chorus in all the churches visited as Christians commemorate the Palm Sunday. Most of the churches were also decorated with palm fronts and some fronts were displayed along the streets signifying Christ's entry into Jerusalem as King of Peace. Amaka Chibuzo Okoye has the details. At St. Joseph the Wakasha Plessy, Oka, the Mass was divided into three segments, starting with Liturgy of Palm Sunday, the Passion Sunday, and Eucharistic celebration in his homely, the chaplain of the chaplaincy, Reverend Father Basil Uchonye, said that Christ, moving ahead of his disciples into Jerusalem, shows that he has conquered fear and getting ready for his death. He explained that Christians, in all circumstances of life, should be focused and look unto Christ, who will give them victory. The Bible tells us in that to that Jesus told his disciples, go into the city, you will find a cord tied somewhere. Untie it. They don't know the owner. They don't know their own. Untie it. Bring it to me. If anybody asks for something, tell him the master has deed of it. The vicar of St. Andrew's Church, Nogo, Venerable Godfrey Nkanyi Moore, said that the triumphant entry of Jesus Christ brought light and liberation from bondage for all Christians. The church should know that Christ went to Jerusalem like a king, bringing peace, bringing hope. Bringing us back to God, cleansing us from all our unrighteousness. The vicar of St. John's Church, Obuno, Reverend Kanon Onye Kachukwe Gwangu, maintained that Christ came to save and his kingship is to restore peace in the world, advising the parishioners to ensure their requests align with God's will. When you make your request, it is God who answers. He knows what to answer. Our human request, sometimes, many a times, do not align to God's will. That's why many of our prayers are not answered. Amaka Chibuzo Okoye, ABS News. The federal government, in collaboration with IFAD VCDP, has commenced the process of evacuating agricultural waste materials from across the state and converting them to wealth. To achieve this, they have procured bicretin machines for converting mixture of rice husk waste paper, starch, and others into firewoods, as well as another machine for converting cassava peels to animal feed. Agri-correspondent Ebeleze reports that the Brickleton machine is now installed at the Doka Rice Mill Omo, Ayamelum Council area for rice farmers, while cassava peels conversion machine is installed at Mbaku, Oka North Council area. The details. At Mbaku, during one day training of processors on converting cassava pills into animal feed, the state agro processing and quality enhancement officer in the agency, Mr. Bonaventure Mochebe, urged women and youths to embrace the innovation as an enterprise, assuring that there is ready market for it. Mr. Mochebe, who urged them to desist from abusing the environment and ensure proper disposal of waste generated from the processing centers, noted that they could cause health hazards. Value chain limit fit to train the farmers on the conversion of uh, the cassava peel to um, animal feed. So the process being that uh, you get the peel, wash it, you dry it. After drying it, you will subject it to hammer meal, where it will now be crushed into powder. One of the participants, Mr. Rafael Demeka, welcomed the technology and thanked the federal government, IFAD VCDP, for availing them the opportunity of diversifying their income generation. When you this, this uh, all those things come to come, you will convert it to the way that you are going to make use of it instead of uh, wasting it away. Then you get gather some money, little money about from that. Another participant, Mrs. Helen Nemeka, said the diversification could create employment for the teeming 
women and youths. What we are learning today is to how to add value and when you use all these things to rear your animals, you find that they are very they are different from the ones that you go to the market to buy feed. And it will also reduce costs. For some time now, it appears that application of strategic dialogue in resolving conflicts has remained elusive in many states. It was perhaps in view of this that the State Directorate of the National Orientation Agency embarked on a one-day sensitization on the importance of using dialogue and conflict resolution at Oka South Local Government Headquarters with the theme, Building a People of Peace. The program was organized for stakeholders and the states, including the civil society groups, paramilitary agencies, women groups, and town union leaders, amongst others. Correspondent Blessing Ochendu was part of the program and now reports. Speaking on the importance of the program, the State Director of the National Orientation Agency, Barrister Charles Moji, identified economic crunch, marginalization, corruption, religious intolerance, among others, as some of the major factors responsible for violent clashes in Nigeria. He maintained that to build a people of peace in the country, the citizenry must learn to live together despite differences in tribe, language, culture and create. The aim of this program is to find ways of diminishing and averting the possibility of existing or new internal crisis among communities and members on the one hand and between communities and settlers on the other. The chairman on the occasion and the national president, Anambra State Association of Town Unions, Chief Alex Onukwe, was of the opinion that peace is inseparable from man's life as nothing meaningful can be achieved without peace. I will therefore enjoy this assembly of uh, men and women to see how we can contribute to the discussions you know, that we are going to have today so that at the end, that we will have made a very positive contribution to building people of peace and activities in our country. Sharing their thoughts on the program, the State Controller of Prisons, Mr. Emmanuel Wakeze, the State Commandant, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Mrs. Obiageli Obiajolo, represented by the Assistant Commandant, Mr. Kennedy Anyangu, the Chairman of the State Civil Society Network, Prince Chris Azo, among others, suggested ways of ending the herdsmen and farmers' clashes in Anambra State. Some youth representatives at the program also called for their involvement in activities concerning the re-establishment of a viable and peaceful social order. The event featured an interactive session and drama presentation on the importance of peace. From Oka South Council Headquarters, Amobia, Blessing Uchendo, ABS News. With the 2019 general elections come and gone, the Nigeria political scene is faced yet with the struggle and agitation of who gets what in the May June 2019 inauguration of a new federal government. Correspondent Emmanuel Okunko went to town on the issue and came back with divergent views on how to share power among the various interest groups in the country. His report. The youth wing of the All Progressives Congress, APC, Southeast Zone, in their view, made a case for the inclusion of all geopolitical zones other than Northwest and Southwest in the incoming federal administration by allotting to them key leadership positions in the Federal House of Representatives and the Senate. The youth wing of the party, who spoke through its zonal leader, Chief Ulisse Meka Onyeka, shortly after a closed-door meeting of the executive members in Oka, remarked that such consideration would make Southeast and others experience equity, fairness, and justice. Chief Onyeka pointed out that the Southeast Zone gave the APC more number of votes in 2019 than it did in 2015, adding that there are now ranking members who can occupy any high position at the Federal House of Representatives and Red Chambers from the Southeast Zone. Northwest has the president already. Southwest, vice president. Then the remaining senior president, deputy senior president, speaker, and 
four should naturally go to the other four suits. We equally call on Mr. President. We thank you, Mr. President, for the projects you've been doing, you, you've uh, cited in the Southeast. Yeah, we, however, I ask that you push your ministers to ensure that they expedite action and increase the pace of work on those projects. This view, however, appears at variance with that of one-time chairman of Nigeria Labour Congress in Anambra State, Comrade Charles Onyabwa, who feels that the leadership of the incoming government and party coming to power should naturally choose key officers from where they received large chunk of votes. Comrade Onyabwa regretted that Southeast voting pattern has robbed the zone of the moral strength to demand for leadership position in the legislature. In a phone interview, the senior special assistant to the governor on political matters, Dr. Vero Kechuku, recommended the adoption of zoning system in allocation of positions in all the key areas of the country as a way of ending the ever-rising agitations emanating from various parts of the country. In Oka, I am Emmanuel Okonkwo, reporting for ABS News. Grand Hermano Academy holds maiden interhouse sports in Oka. Gold House has emerged the overall winner at the maiden edition of Grand Hermano Academy's interhouse sports. Equiajide was at the interhouse sports held at the ABS field Oka and reports that Gold House came tops after securing 406 points. The report. Diamond House followed with 318 points, while Emerald House came third with 306 points, followed by Sapphire House, which came fourth with 249 points in the sporting event. The children were obviously elated as they entertained the crowd in some field and track events, including 25 meters race for pre nursery pupils, 50 meters race for primary school pupils, 100 meters race junior and senior categories, relay race, sack race, egg race, and bust in the balloons, among many others. Parents and teachers of the children were not left out as they too aspired for glory. Some parents who spoke to ABS, including the Anambra State Commissioner for Works, Engineer Marcel Ifejofo, a former member of the State House of Assembly, Honorable Ejofo Eguato, and an industrialist, Mrs. Michel Wabeze, described sports as the key to all round well being. Sport is a serial development, both mentally and physically. You could see how happy the kids are. Sports is one of those very necessary parts of growing up. And uh, exposing them to this kind of trainings will balance their mental states, will make them feel better, make them physically fit, mentally fit, and uh, very well prepared for the future. Earlier in his opening remarks, the director of studies, Grand Hamano Academy, Mr. Adefolahan Adeboyage, said the maiden event was an opportunity to also prepare the children physically. We are known for one thing, academic excellence. We always set the pace. These things will be achieved by these wonderful teachers of Grand Hamano Academy. The event also featured presentation of gifts to victorious persons and houses, enlightening of the Olympic flame by the Chief Executive Officer of Grand Amano Academy, Oka Chijoke Mwajoha. In Oka, Ekwi Ajde, ABS News. Top government officials, the religious communities, youths and stakeholders in the state converged on Umalichi Obo village about it to pay their last respect to Pascal Onyilo, killed in mob action at Tumoji in the Demili North local government area two months ago. The gathering once again highlighted the pain of increasing rate of jungle justice in the society that resulted to the unjust killing of Pascal in a mob action in February 2019 at Tumoji. Correspondent Chibuzo Bidike reports. 
Pascal Onyilu survived by his wife and two little children. His journey to eternity began with a holy mass at his country home, Umuluchi Obu, Abatete, and attracted the presence of the aged, which showed the humility of late Pascal in his community and the state at large. Speaking shortly after the mass, Governor Willi Obiano, while expressing the hope that Abatete and Umuluchi communities will maintain the cordial coexistence they are known for, regretted the increasing rate of jungle justice in the society and made it clear that the state government will deal decisively with perpetrators of such acts. He advised all to pursue justice through the appropriate authorities instead of taking laws into their hands. The governor who was represented by the Anambra State Head of Service, Barrister Harry Odo, who was saddened over the death of Pascal, condoled the family and abatete community while urging them to accept the loss with Christian equanimity in order not to cry like people without hope. It's, it's, it's terrible, but it's terrible. But then, it's the will of God. So all these circumstances, I think it could happen to any other person. So let, let, let it be taken in that sense. Earlier in his homely during the burial mass, the parish priest, most holy name of Mary Catholic Church, Abatete, Reverend Father Ernest Ezewuzie, represented by the catechist of the parish, Mr. Anthony Akunda, drew the attention of Christians to their lifestyle while on earth as it will be used to judge them on the last day. <laughs> In their separate reactions, the President General of Abatete Community, Chief Ikech Kuchukuoka, and the Senior Special Assistant to the Governor on Environment, Mr. Stanley Nkwoka, who hails from the community, described the death of late Pascal as ill fated They noted that the community is in dialogue with Umoji as the two communities have a historical blood bond and sympathized with the Onyilo family to bear the irreplaceable loss with fortitude. His demise touched me so much. Look at the family he left behind. Look at the surrounding the environment. He showed and displayed and made him that somebody really loved his compact. Pascal is a childhood friend. We grew up together, attending the same school, the same class, something that nobody expected. And from, you know, to happen to somebody like Pascal, somebody who has that top humility, you know, hard worker, to, you know, for such evil to be involved in, is unspeakable. From Abatete, in the Demi North Council area, Chibu Zobidike, ABS News. And with that sad story on the burial of late Pascal, we conclude the hard news and this is saying may god receive his soul amen join us shortly for inside the news This is Insider News. Glad to have you. Oftentimes in our neighborhood, we hear people complain that there is no more original honey. And the truth is that there is still original honey, but it is very hard to come by. And it is also very expensive. We shall be joining Ngozi Obileri of Insider News as she takes a trip, or a visit rather, to Majesty Honey Farm at Adazenu in a Nocha local government area. Let's go. Honey is one of the commodities accepted globally. It is used for so many purposes, ranging from medical purposes to sweetening of drinks like tea, pap, and different kinds of juice. Recently, there is a record of high margin between its demand and supply. You can agree with me that there is more fake and adulterated honey in our immediate environment than the original. 
While a 50 cl bottle of the adulterated honey is sold at 1,500 naira, 50 cl of original honey is sold for 3,500 naira. Have you ever asked why the quantity of original honey has continued to dwindle? Well, Insider News got a shocking revelation at Ogwenyoji village, Adazenu, in Anocha council area, where a honey farm was spotted. Mr. Emeko Kafo, popularly called Emeka Honey, who hails from Ogwenyoji in Adazenu community, is the owner of the Majesty Honey Farms. He also makes wax from the honeycomb. And you know that many products are made from wax, including shoe polish, lipstick, hair cream, even bubble gums, among others. There is also something called propolis. It is a substance produced by the bee, and it is used for embalmment that can last for donkey years without decay. The good news is that Emeka Honey has been given a contract to supply wax and propolis abroad. But the bad news is that he alone cannot produce the quantity demanded of him. Hence, the need for more people to engage in honey making. A bee comb. And is a product of honey bee process to get this bee wax. And this bee wax is an industrial product used for uh, production of cardo and the uh, um, uh, polish, crayon, you know, and the uh, uh, lipstick we may mm -hmm. normally use. It's a product and a high demand across the border in Europe and China. The Chinese in our conference in Abuja made demand of this uh, biwas in a, about 1,000 uh, ton of biwas demand from Nigerian beekeepers, but we could not be able to produce this. Hmm. You know, uh, a, a grammage of this biwas is up to 2,500 naira. A grammage, one grammage of this biwas is up to 2,500 uh, 2, naira, but Nigerians are uh, not knowing uh, the essence and the importance of a uh, honey bee. That's why we are here to tell Anambra and Nigerians that this is possible in our location. Lest I forget, there are other two young men in the business. One is from Aguluzibu, also in Anocha. The other is from Orifite, in Ekusiko Council area, making them only three in the whole Anambra state. Back to the honey farm. Please tell us what it will take to own a honey farm. In short, take us to your honey farm. This is the entrance to the big farm. Follow us as we go to the farm. And then... Before we enter the farm, Insider News and her cameraman were kitted to the fullest because knowing what produces honey, one cannot just pay a visit to a beehive without being prepared, Makanejiri Ivana Abwanante, Abwananya. And so the journey began. Once inside the farm, the owner, Mr. Mecca, took over the explanation. So these are the bee uh, hives that produces honey. Okay, really. uh, so as you can see, come closer. The bees are friendly yeah, in our environment. And uh, in a modern way of bee domestication, you dare not to kill or burn bees. You know, this is a, a only sure way to get honey in its natural and the purify way. Mm -hmm. eh? yeah. They are friendly, as you can see, they are going in. If you open this way, you say hello to the bees. You recognize that. Say hello to the bees. Hello. Mm -hmm. As you can see, yeah. they are full. Okay. Mm. Let's go to the food side. Okay. How did you get these bees? Did they come here first? Yeah, these bees have been attracted using a, 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 a swan commander. Okay. Mm. This yeah. one commander. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, 
I get it here up. So you can like that. Come on, you want to hang me now. You can't have a hat. This is a nucleus hive. Nucleus hive. This is nucleus hive. Okay. As you can see, the nucleus hive. Okay. It's what we use to attract trap bees in the wild. Okay. You know? Uh -huh. Using this uh, uh, swan commander. commander. Swan commander. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so if you stand like this, are you, do you want, uh, can you demonstrate what you need to do? The demonstration, what do you want to do? As in using this to... Okay, you, you pour it inside the bees, inside oh. the hive. Okay. When it is okay. empty, when, oh. it, when it is empty okay. of bees, and the bees from oh. the air, mm. we come and colonize them. Mm. Colonize it. It's okay. like a tractant. Okay. I like Nigerian flag because yeah. I'm proud of Nigeria. Yes. Yeah. this one. I'm going to use this You have seen, can you see? Yes. Can you see the bee? Yes. Can you see the bee? Yes. yes. The queen and the, the workers are all there, buzzing. Yes. Away from the bleeding box, let us see how honey is being harvested. So this is where we get some honey now. Mm -hmm. eh? yeah. so. We are starting out. We are starting out now. So in the Usuka and the traditional Igbo honey harvesting method, yeah. they got these bees burnt for them to harvest honey. Compare with this modern one that you normally keep bees, they'll be going and coming and depositing their products. At the end of the day, what you get is honey. Yeah. Uh -huh. So Everybody can, anybody can be, be it male, be it female, and the unemployed Nigerian use. This is possible. Nature really deposited a lot of potentials in Nigeria, more especially Igbo land. Yes. The flower and plants are abundant. From what I'm seeing, it's not even expensive to start yeah. off. It's not a, the only it's, challenge it's not, is the, technical the land. The land. Uh -huh. mm. Location. Location, Location is the main thing. Yeah. Sometimes you start somewhere this you want to farm. Mm. You have to okay. That's it on B first. Come closer for you to this one. Come closer. Camera. Two properly. The washing. Okay. The washing this one. Okay. Two properly. Okay. I saw some bees. In a soccer area, they got all these bees burnt for them to harvest honey. For them to harvest honey. As you can see, this is a simple technology, locally made, yes. not imported. Mm.
Wow. <laughs> so good. That's good now. Mm. Honey. This is pure honey. First honey. grade. First grade. As you can see. Mm -hmm. You see the color? It's not black. Yeah. It's Seal. gold. Seal it's gold. Like... <laughs> so this bee have a good characteristics. Wow. Wow. This is good. You brushed out. You sweep out the bees. Mm. Hmm? Mm. You sweep out the bees. This way. Hmm? Mm. You can see the Hundred honeycomb. Percent. And the, we have honeycomb for sale mm. to the Nigerian public. Mm. So, an ambassador government. Mm. If they can take serious with honey bee, mm. we can be exporting honey in no less than two years when mm. they come for a uh, partnership mm. with the Majesty Honey Farms. Okay. So we are taking the honey to the uh, the uh, honey pot. So you go home yes. with this comb. I'm going home with the comb. Mm. This one I fell down. Mm -hmm. It's a honey, pure deposit. It's not removed, it's to be removed. They are struggling with the product. <laughs> <laughs> Is it heavy? It's heavy now. Very heavy. No. <laughs> okay. Very heavy now. Honey is normally heavy. Okay, put it inside. Mm. That one is full. The next one you are bringing out now is full. Bring the smoke. Oh. Okay. As easy as ABCD, isn't it? Having seen it all, what next? This is just for demonstration purposes. We have plenty of honey there left over. No, it should be melted to have the wax. Take it, you must take it. So, this is comb honey you cannot see anywhere in the open market. Of that is honey. So, what is your test like? Natural honey. Excuse me, what is normal? Not the whole time. That's all. <laughs> so you can see the color. Mm. Yes. Mm? Mm. From the one I show you in the uh, bottled one, mm. you see how the color is. Yeah. Some people say honey is blackish. Yes, it's not. You really see honey black yeah. because they lick the honey when uh, it's just, it's just food. They lick it to feed themselves. Yes. yes. So black honey is not right here. Yeah. From this. Yeah. Right, right, right. You can agree with me that it does not cost much to be a honey farmer. All the materials used are locally made. If only more people can go into this business, a lot of bees will be saved. The issue of killing them so as to be able to harvest honey will be a thing of the past. It is indeed wonderful to behold. From Majesty Farms in Ongwenyoji, in Adazenu, an other local government area, I am Ngozi Obileri for ABS Insider News. Oh my God. So, Ngozi Obileri, I really want to let you know that I should be expecting my own honey. You know, um, it goes to show that when next somebody calls you, you or say you are my honeycomb, you now know the processes, you know, and what exactly honeycomb looks like. Indeed, that was a beautiful outing. Many thanks, Ngozi and crew. Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any part of the world by liking our Facebook page at ABS Radio Television. 
subscribe to our YouTube at youtube.co.absradiotv online. Follow us on Twitter at ABS Radio TV and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website, www.absradiotv.com. And that does it on Inside the News tonight. Hoping you shall be joining us Sunday next for another interesting outing. My name is Maureen Stone Enujoke Kachifo. <laughs>